All right, thanks for joining us on the top three show. I'm Lynn Bardowski, founder at Million Dollar Party Girl. 26 years in direct sales, fill the multi-million dollar business with party light. Do what I teach, come in the trenches. And I teach women how to embrace what I call their inner visionista, which is really about stepping into your girl power, ladies. And I'm going to turn it over to Nicole, my co-star here, have her introduce herself, and then we'll introduce our fabulous guest. Hey, everybody. I'm Nicole DeFeo. I've been gone for a couple of weeks, but I'm back now. So excited to be here with you all. I am uh, the CEO and executive director of a multi-million dollar nonprofit membership group for women that has over 65,000 members. And I run housing for them and as well as their membership organization and their foundation. I have over 22 years in nonprofit management, doing everything from boys and girls clubs to Ronald McDonald houses to my current gig. I've worked with literally hundreds of nonprofit organizations, helping them to reach the million dollar mark. And that's kind of what I do. So I'm excited to be here and represent that sector. And I'm excited to be here with Tia because I think she's going to really share some important insight with you that fits in all areas, whether you're an entrepreneur or you are in the nonprofit like I am, or if you are, you know, out there in corporate America as well. So I'm excited. Lynn, let's get to know her. Yeah, let me introduce Tia. And actually, this whole show is really has a lot to do with how Tia and I met as well, our backstory. So <laughs> I'll, I'll let her tell that part. But um, she's based in Philadelphia, a self-published author, actually has a new book coming out really soon, intuitive healer, spiritual teacher, and entrepreneur. So she just has an amazing light spirit that radiates from her. She... Uh, spiritually based business focus on helping people to ignite their spirituality and empower their quality of life. Don't we all need more of that? Yes, absolutely. And I didn't even know this to you that you're a half post blog contributor. Yes. Oh, awesome. I did not know that you've spoken yeah. at the mind body spirit expo diva girl conference. So you're a speaker and author and entrepreneur. And you've also been featured in um, suburban life magazine, power 99 radio show. You're just amazing. Wow. <laughs> I'm a little like, bit nervous, do you? You are rocking it, girlfriend. So we're going to talk about how to build meaningful business relationships. And I know you're going to be sharing your top three tips on that because that's what this show is all about, uh, those, those top three nuggets. So, um, you know, tell us how you kind of came to really focus on this in your business and how it's made a difference. Sure. So... The way I came to focus on this in my business is because I realized a long time ago that in order for you to get from A to B, C, D, and F, and Z, you're really going to have to build strong, genuine relationships. And that really involves putting a lot of time and effort into it. So, yeah, that's what I learned a long time ago, that it has to be genuine. It has to be something that you want and an other person also wants to have. And it helped my business in many ways because uh, I'm able to connect with people who aren't a spiritual, spiritually based entrepreneur. Maybe they're a social media based entrepreneur or whatever the case may be. So that's definitely how it helped my business. I'm learning for other people who are who aren't in my spiritual realm. <laughs> so that's great. You're sending us all your energy, right? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I said you're sending us all your energy. Oh, yes, definitely. Yes. <laughs> now, Tia, do you want me to, um, we're going to be sharing your website. Should we share your TiaJohnson.com or the Violet Sanctuary Spa, which is how we first met? Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, TiaMarieJohnson.com. Yeah, yeah. There we go. We'll pop that in there. Uh, awesome. So, yeah, so let's talk about it because, you know, uh, being kind of a, a savvy networker online, today it's a global world we live in and I, I know you've been able to make some amazing connections um just by doing exactly that so what is your first top tip of your top three all right so my first top tip is to show up and be engaging so this goes beyond liking a couple of posts this goes beyond uh, and um, just saying, oh, yeah, I, I saw your post and I thought it was really cool what you said by seeing you in person. 
when I say show up and be engaging, it's similar to when I took that chance and, and saw you at uh, the mansion in New Jersey. It's like showing up, being, and I was so nervous to stand up and speak up, but I did it. So it's really about being engaging, really understand what's going on, taking that chance. You can't just limit it to a like, because <laughs> it's just, it's not going to work. You have to really make yourself known, pronounce your, you know, this really, really, really Peter. So it's really just showing up and being engaging. And so let's tell them a little bit about that backstory. Yes. <laughs> so uh, everyone, I went to the PA Women's Conference, I guess two years ago now, a year or so yeah, ago. And uh, yeah, the and I went to actually, I think we lost volume on the call for some reason. Just oh, no. to give her the heads up. I can't hear you. Nicole. That would be because I muted it. Okay. Um, okay. I'm on top now, Rose. I, I was to trying to be respectful. I muted me and then was trying to talk. I'm good. Okay. All good over here. Okay. <laughs> here you go. Here you go. <laughs> so, I, um, yeah, someone recommended that I go to the PA Women's Conference. So I did. And I was looking uh, to go to the breakout sessions. And it just so happened I was on Google Plus and I was looking up the hashtag PA Women Conference. And that's how I discovered Lynn. She had, it would seem like a phenomenal breakout session. I completely missed it. So I had messaged her on her uh, her um, her post on, on Google Plus. I said, oh, I'm sorry, I missed it. You know, hopefully I get to see you again. She's like, and that's when she responded. She didn't have to respond, people. I just want to put that out there. It could have been like a like. Like, oh yeah, you missed me. Like, that's cool. But she responded <laughs> and she she notified me that she had this great event. And Nicole, you were there and a couple of other wonderful women that she had this event at the mansion in New Jersey. And it was on this day and then please come. So I, I did, I got my uh, Uber and <laughs> went over there. So yeah. yeah, that's how I met the hashtag. <laughs> yeah, talk about showing up because I think that is part of the risk because it really, I mean, you really put yourself out there talking about breaking out of your comfort zone. You know, uh, you're, you know, you're in Philadelphia, we're in New Jersey. So for people that are in a global out of our area uh, world, that's a big deal to go from Philadelphia to go over the bridge is like, that's right. It requires a passport for some folks. <laughs> yeah, it, it does. Yes. <laughs> absolutely does you know you had to catch an That's uber so ride funny. you didn't even have like a car you had to catch an uber ride to get there and here you walk into a room you do not know one person except me sure. through social media yes. so that takes guts that takes guts girl but you know i have to say that i think that you're right when you talk about showing up and engaging it's kind of like I always tell my my staff and my people, you need to not just kind of hang on the periphery. You have to show up, you must have to engage. And when you show up and engage, you gain access, right? So you showed up, you engage with Lynn, and then you gained access to her entire network of people because you were there. Because people like Lynn and I, and I believe you as well, and most successful people are willing to help you, are willing to connect you to people, are willing to give you that extra shot if you show up. But if you say you're going to show up and then you don't, or you just don't show up, you're not on our radar, we're not going to come looking for you. But if you're there, you get that access to amazing things and amazing things happen to people who show up. I, I believe in that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it does, yeah, even, there is no quick fix. It does, This is an investment of your time and energy. Absolutely, yeah. Even the, the PA Women Conference, it was about 3,000 women. So out of 3,000 yeah. women, I connected with Lynn. Like that. That's the scope of the, the bigger picture. 3,000 women who are hashtagging left and right, and I found Lynn. So <laughs> that's a big deal, big, big deal. We were supposed <laughs> to connect. Absolutely. And I, I do believe that you, you know, you attract who you are and you, you find those like minded people. That could be a great thing and it could be a not great, so great thing, depending on the energy that you're putting out there. So sometimes we need to kind of look in the mirror and say, you know, why are these people showing up? 
in my life. And if they're not the people you want to be showing up, it's not them, it's you. And that shift has to start with you. And I know that's something that is, you know, really part of your spiritual base is, is kind of attracting those right energies. Absolutely, yes. Uh, it's total law of attraction. I mean, you, you get out what you put out, you get back 100%. And so when you have negativity swirling about, you have to find a way to change your focus from that because what you focus on grows, it grows in that way too. So yeah. I, I love it. I love it. I think that's wonderful. So can you what, tell me a little bit about what you were thinking about when you were thinking, oh, I want to connect and engage with Lynn what was your entree line? Since I wasn't involved in it, I think some of our folks might want to know, like, okay, I see this person, I want to engage, I don't want to be stalker, which right. gotta be honest with you, I stalk everyone, so uh, <laughs> it is. But tell us what you like, tell us what you said. So what was your opening line that got Lynn hooked in? I think my opening line was it seemed like you had a really great breakout session that I missed. I think that it was something along the lines of that, like I missed something great. And and, cool. and and yeah, I, I think that was one line, just the whole sentence. I I I, I think that was it, Lynn. I mean, I can like scroll backwards one day. Find the post. No, that's not necessary. Here but just go. letting people know, like it's okay that you can say something like, "Hey, I missed your, I missed your great this great opportunity, and I would love to connect." Now, I have had people who have said um, they put something out on social media that they really need help. And I'll see it and then I'll say, wow, this person really needs help. And I will private message them, hey, you know, if you want to get together, I might know something about what you're talking about. And, I, I, you know, we can have some coffee. And then they'll say, I can't. And I'll say, how about Saturday? I can't Saturday. And then they never follow up again. Yeah. I'm not going to chase them down to give them free advice. Right. But you got to do that follow up too. So as long as you're. So you did that, and now here you are. Right. right? Lynn also, Friends. Exactly. And Lynn also followed up in her way because she let me know, hey, I had this upcoming event. It's here, here, here. She could have just, as I was saying earlier, she could have just liked it. Like, oh, yeah, you missed it. Thank you. Like, but no, she said, yeah. you know, went out. And I just said, okay. So it was, <laughs> it was just like boom, boom, boom. Yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah. What's honestly, tip number two? That is, that is really awesome that you showed up. Yeah. So let's talk about number two. Let's talk about really using social media. There's so many online communities out there. And I think many times we think, oh, I'm going to join this group. And then they're all yes. going to buy from me. <laughs> I'm just going to tell them all about my great website. Right. Yeah. So my next tip is you have to gen genuinely like the person and respect their, their brand. So, and I, I had messaged Lynn about this earlier. When I say genuinely like the person and uh, to respect their brand, what I mean is when you enter someone's group, understand that that's their domain. Okay, so you have to really like the person in a sense that, okay, I understand that this is your domain, this is what you put out there. And then the second portion of that is not being slick when you're promoting yourself. I see a lot of people in social media groups post memes. And then it's their their business below, but they do it. Uh, they do it so often that it's overwhelming. Or it's do you like this picture or that picture? But it's always that. So you had to really instead of putting yourself out there and kind of hijacking someone else's group, read the rules, respect their domain, read the rules. A lot of groups have like Lynn has her Tech Tuesday, and I and I try to think of a techie, a new app, or something like that. And I post, and if I'm in another person's group, and uh, there's something that I would like to post that I think is along the lines of the group, I would ask them first, unless I'm in a group that they don't care. So you really have to respect their online domain. And in social media, it's so easy to overstep that boundary, and then your group becomes uh, a highway with a bunch of billboards. <laughs> so that's my tip number two. Genuinely like who, who you're you're dealing with when you enter their group. Respect that person and their domain, and then also respect the the um the, the the environment there. Just please don't be slick about your your promotional posts. <laughs> we That's all so know important. what they're real what the meaning is behind those posts, where they're like, yeah. "Tell me what you think about this 
uh, you know, thing I'm thinking about posting and it's got their website <laughs> on it. And whenever, whenever yeah. I see a post with somebody's website on it, I'm like, come on, <laughs> we know what you're doing. Right. We've totally figured it out. So, so yeah. probably what people should do is really connect with the, find out who the admin is first. Mm -hmm. right? Yes, yes. And connect, of, yes. You know, connect with that admin. It is exactly. A lot of groups now they have a section where they have rules. You can, you know, go. Some of some uh, uh, groups have very nicely laid out rules, and there are a lot, but it works. And other groups are very open about it. So, yeah, you want to definitely talk to the admin. You, you definitely want to understand. Well, it's good to introduce yourself if you can. I mean, sometimes you forget, or sometimes people invite you to the group, you don't realize it. So it's good to in, um, introduce yourself first. Hi, I'm Jessica, and I edit, you know, people's uh, blogs and book manuscripts. Uh, and I also teach dancing. I, do, I give dancing lessons. Boom. That's simple. You're not going over the top, and it's your introductory post. That's great. And yes, talk to the admin. And then you don't have to be a lurker, but just kind of get a feel for it. Read people's posts. See how. Uh, other people interact in that group and then you can maybe post your your one meme or something like that but it's all about not overdoing it and really understanding the environment of that that group that makes total sense so yeah don't go in with your amazing offer as your first post with a link to your website <laughs> buy my stuff yes. i don't understand why that didn't work <sighs> It's true. You got to earn some green lights with people, you know, before you can whip out there with some of the other stuff. You know, you have to let them know who you are, get to know who they are, and then you'll be more apt to, you know, getting business does not happen in the first interaction with someone. Right. It's just not going to happen. And I don't know how many ways we can say something like that. I, I have been, I have spoken to groups big and small and huge and, and it seems like I'm on the stage, I'm talking about having, creating the knowing, the trusting, the liking, the wanted to business with me first. That's I think common for everyone. And then I walk off stage and at the back of the room, someone's like, I sell this and I'd like you to have a direct sales party for me. Hello, I just met you. I just told you not to do that. So, I mean, I don't know how much more open you can be, but I think what you're saying applies here as well as other places. Just because you're behind a keyboard and typing does not mean, you know, people get internet muscles. They just, they can't help themselves. They're behind the counter and behind a screen and they're just like, click, 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 click. buy my stuff, buy my stuff. And 18 different ways. And the reality is you have to create those relationships before someone's going to buy from you. So whether you're doing it in a room, networking in person, or you're doing it on social media, it has to be the same move. You can't just jump in. People will get that and they'll be like, whoa, red light. Woo. Yeah. And once you have a red light with someone, it's so hard to get back to a green light. So hard. So, yeah. I mean, I agree with you 100% on that. Like scarlet letter of networking. Um, and you know what? You dropped a great little nugget there, Tia, that I think might have been missed. And it it's how you're actually using a hashtag to find the people that you want to connect with. And I think that's so underused, especially um, like let's say there's an event and you can't make it. Well, you can follow the event hashtag and still Absolutely. so we connected, we connected post event. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Following the event yeah. hashtag. So you can still, uh, you know, look for events in your industry, even if you can't go number, you know, find out what the hashtag is. Follow it. Look to see who you might want to build a relationship. You know, reach out to them. See if you can meet for coffee or do a little Google Hangout call and how and always start the conversation with how can we help each other? Mm hmm. Exactly. Dead on. That's good stuff. All right. So let's go to number three. So we talked about using Our, social media, mm -hmm. that it takes time. You got to show up. <laughs> yeah. Presence. Access to those who show up. Yes. 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 And last but not so least, is, uh, oh, 
I was gonna say that the last one is don't take anything personally. I notice, in, uh, and and this just transcends again, if you're in person or on social media, um, there was um, a group where one person was offended because their post got removed or one person was offended because maybe they didn't get introduced properly in public or you know, whatever the case may be, maybe you didn't get a retweet. People are busy. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You know, it's, Besides business, you have your family life, your personal life, and if you're in school and whatever else the, the case may be at the time. So in order to really build the strong business relationship and beyond, you really had to keep your emotions in check. Don't take things personally. I had messaged people who they didn't get back to me and that's okay. Maybe something's going on. Maybe they don't know how to say no. Some people, you know, they, they have a lot of going on. So if you really want to build a strong business or business, it doesn't matter, friendship, business, whatever, you really can't take anything personally. You don't know what the person's going through. They got a bajillion things on their plate. And especially if you're just, interacting with them for the first time on social media all you see is just their social media portion of their life give them some time follow up show up you know be engaging so the last tip is really don't take it personally just keep doing what you're doing keep showing up in the group and then eventually the person may come around and say you know what i'm sorry i didn't get to you in the beginning but i noticed notice that you're still hanging around let's meet up for coffee Give them a pass. You never know. My mother used to say, you know, don't know until you walk in there, that person's shoes, what they got going on. Right. right. And the, the face that we put on on Facebook is not always the one that's going on when we get home. Uh, you are not kidding. Right? <laughs> you are not kidding. That is something we talk about quite a bit in my world is, you know, there's reality and then there's social media reality. So, you know, sometimes the most put together people all of a sudden start to kind of sink in. I agree with Lynn, give them the pass. Yeah. 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 yeah it's uh, that that is that is probably the one of the best points that I've ever heard because I don't think we talk about that enough. And right away we're we're taking it like, oh my gosh, doesn't she like me? <laughs> like, right. yes, me. Right. <laughs> I mean, even when it's just, yeah. you know, we see this, someone doesn't get back to you, but then I don't know, a minute, it's like, oh, then like two days pass, you know, maybe their phone broke. <laughs> Who knows? You don't know yeah. this situation. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, Everybody is just so connected, right, that you expect this immediate return when, you know, give people a business day for the love of Pete. Give me a business day, <laughs> you know, to get back to you. And I think people sometimes remember later and then they're like, oh, yeah, I was supposed to get back to that person. And then they come back around and you're angry. You know, I've offered to have coffee with people and they said, oh, I'm going to get to you. And then they don't. Like I said earlier. And then out of nowhere, they're like, oh, you know, we were supposed to have coffee. And I said, OK, whenever, you know, because you have to give people the benefit of the doubt and assume positive intent whenever you can. Yes. Yes. Totally. In life. And on social media. <laughs> Two places at all. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, thank, thank you, Tia. These were awesome tips. Um, I do want you to share about your book and your event coming up. And I just see that our, our show sponsor is here, Donna Romano Photography. So I'm actually going to share a little link to her website. And I know, Tia, you're, you're looking for a photographer. Are you still looking for, for a photographer, Tia? Um, I have a photographer now. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Yes. I, I know you were like, I might need somebody. Um, so might... Donna did our. For, for another event. <laughs> okay. 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 Keep her in mind. She's amazing. She does events. She does branding shots sure. and she awesome. uh, shot Nicole and I for our photo for our show. So that opening yeah. shot where we look exactly like this <laughs> yes so perfectly like that but she also does all of my everything i need for all of my branding all of my company's branding she is my number one gal i don't use anyone else and she's running a headshot special i saw which is oh, insanely affordable right now 
and I'm, I'm going to say, if you think you're going to spend $50 on a headshot and it's going to look awesome, no, it's not going to look awesome. You're going to get the passport photo. That one. <laughs> That's not the one you want. You want the one that looks like I look in the picture up top where you look like you belong on the cover of a magazine. And if yes. you want that, then you have to pay a little more, but you'll get it with Dana Romano Photography. Yeah, so just click on our shots, Nicole and I, and those are the shots yes. that we actually did feel a little bit like supermodels that day. We're like, mm -hmm. the models are here. We <laughs> were yeah. for that day. We were the models. Thank you. Yeah, That's for, right. for like two hours. So thanks for making us look good, Dana. We appreciate it. Yes. Um, so Tia, tell us what you have coming up. What's tomorrow? You have a big, you're speaking tomorrow, right? Yeah, so I am presenting a Hall of Famer branding specialist and six-time author, Candy Casey Bizball's Conda. She's been so, and I met her through Periscope. So I mean, social media is my best friend. <laughs> so yes, Absolutely. We exactly. Do not discount hashtags or any form of social media. <laughs> we will be. Um, or she, she's going to talk about how you can monetize and brand your business and also how you can master Periscope because Periscope really is a game changer. I don't care what you're doing. If you're, if you're a uh, dog sitting or if you're trying to uh, sell a product, you can totally do this on Periscope. So she's going to lead people through a Periscope workshop. It's going to be so much fun. So yes, that's tomorrow at the Boris building at Privlib, the penthouse. So it's going to be a lot of fun on Fifth and Market. Uh, you can go to uh, the boss field or bit.ly the boss Philly uh, to get your tickets. It's uh, I, ju 20, I just shared the link. I just oh, put the oh, link. Oh, great. There you go. Yeah. There you go. It's going to be fun. We're going to have prizes and giveaways. It's going to be a good old time. <laughs> and what's, what's yeah, right time down the street from my office? I'll have to see if I can get over there. Yeah, and that's yeah, the Boris building. The Boris building. Yeah, I love building. it. It's on 4th, right? Uh, it's on the, the, the fourth. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. For the fourth street. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right yeah. near. I'm at I'm thirteen. Yeah, you can walk oh, down. Yeah. Right near yeah. and it's small. And yeah, um, what time does it, it start, Tia? What time does it start? Uh, six p.m. So it's from six to nine. Oh, oh okay. okay. It's tomorrow night. Yeah. Did I get there? And are there? It's an evening still, event. Are there? Yeah. Um, yeah. Vendor opportunities still available or anything? Uh, we closed grab? the vendor, but if there's someone who wants to come last minute, we we may be able to fit one or two more vendors. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. right now we have five vendors, so yeah, there, there's possibly room for one or two more. Yeah. Cool. Now that we know somebody that's speaking there, we have the inside scoop. And then uh, tell us about your book. You've set a date for your, what's the title of the book and when's it gonna be out? I'm so excited. So it's called, um, gosh, I'm, I'm so flustered because I worked so hard for this book. It is called <clears throat> how, uh, how to Get to the Point in Your Life, A Path of Revelations and Revivals. And uh, I wrote this book because it was, it's actually based off one of my uh, most well-received blog I did uh, three three years, yeah, three years after I started my business, I really wanted to get to the point, not realizing that I had to go through experiences. I just like, oh, I want to get there. And uh, people uh, left comments like, oh, I'm going to bookmark this. So I figured if I can write a book and interview people, and I interview Lynn, if I interview amazing people who I connect with, who I really you know relate to, and who I believe stories can really help the readers, I, I believe that this book can be a tool that can use over and over and over again. So the book will be coming out in March now. I had to push back uh, the date. So it'll be coming out March this year. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have a book launch party for that. So that's what's coming up. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. So I'm very, very excited for the book. Like giving birth, right? Yeah, it is. It is. It's because uh, each each book is a journey, you know, and it's just, you go into like this little cave of a room or wherever and there's paper everywhere and books and stuff like that. And then, you know, you, you emerge as this new woman, like, ah, yes, this is my masterpiece. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yes. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm excited. And we will be there for your book launch as well. We will show up for you. Awesome. <laughs> yes, we will. When is that launching? 
Uh, right now, I have the date at April 30th. It's a Saturday. Okay, April 30th. Worth it. That's yeah. going to be a live event, right? You're going to do like a... Yeah, like Periscope. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. I got... Right. Yeah, I got a lot of uh, ideas. So, yeah, I'm, I'm the type of person that has like a million ideas and I have to write them all down and play them out <laughs> scenarios. So, yeah, I have a lot of cool things in store for this book launch period or book launch. Yeah. On. Well, all you right. know, we, we, awesome. will, we will be ready to scope at a moment's notice whenever you're Yes, we do love to scope. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> cool. Well, th thank you so much. This was uh, really some great tips on building your online uh you know networking presence making deeper connections don't just post and run that's right. not going to happen for you that was a good right. run don't post and run don't post and run yeah. it's bad yeah all right thanks to, <laughs> what? thanks to you what you need a meme for that don't post and run <laughs> yeah you gotta make one i should put that on a t-shirt for real <laughs> that's a all right don't steal that idea whoever's watching my blab i'm 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 doing it. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to trademark it as soon as we get off. Cool. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great night. Bye. See you. Are we on next week? Uh, yes. Stay tuned. We'll Our see who we're going to. It's going to be something fabulous. Yeah. Maybe we'll just talk. We could do. We we'll talk, talk and blab. We're very good at that. Yeah. All right. Thanks, thanks everyone. I'm going to kick, uh, kick Tia and Nicole out so I can kick myself out. Have a great night. Bye. Bye.